Hello learners, this is Self Touch, and in this video we will learn about Vim Plugin Manager. As we know that we can enhance the functionality of Vim by using plugins. But if you want to install a new plugin, if you want to delete a plugin and if you want to upgrade a plugin, then manually it is a very tedious task. So we need some good plugins manager so that our life will become easy and we are able to install delete or update plugins very easily in Vim. So there are so many Vim plugin manager available out there and the most important ones are the Wundel, Pathogen and Vim plug. So these three plugin manager are the most important one for Vim. You can use any one of these three but in this video we will learn about Vim plug. So we can install Vim plug by using this command and we'll see where we can find this command. So we'll go to our browser and we'll search for Vim plug. So the first result will come for a GitHub repository for the Vim plug. We'll click on it and we'll go to the repository of Vim plug. Here we can see the documentation of Vim plug and we'll find that we need to run this command for installing Vim plug in our Unix system or Linux system. So we'll use this command and you'll we'll go to our Linux system and we'll just paste it there and we'll click enter. So it will go to the server or go to the GitHub repo and download the file from there. So from doing all this, we have installed Vim plug into our system. To validate that the Vim plug has been successfully installed, I have so I have told you in earlier tutorials that any plugins that we use is stored inside the .vim folder of our home repository, uh, home folder. So if you do ls minus la, it, it will show as a .vim folder inside which our vim plug will get installed. So we'll go inside our .vim folder which is a hidden folder and, and if we see inside, inside it, we can find another folder with the name auto load. So we'll go inside auto load and we can see that plug.vim has been installed. So we can see that vim plug has been successfully installed. Now we'll again go to our home and next we can see that to activate our plugin manager or our vim plug, we have to write this syntax in our vimrc file. So as we have learned previously that any configuration for vim is done inside our dot vimrc file which is present in our home directory so when we run vim then vim reads the dot vimrc file and sees all the configuration to activate a plugin we have to use the syntax call plug begin and call plug end so and inside this area we have to use the, a syntax for the plugin we have to write a plug which comes from the vim plug that we have installed and the name of the plugin. The name of the plugin is divided into two parts. The first one is the GitHub reposit uh, username of the GitHub user and the second one is the repository name of for that user. So you can find these plugins according to your you need by going to the website Vim Awesome. So we'll go there and we'll see some of the plugin and we'll see the username for the github user so if you see here these are the most important plugin like it has eight to six seven stars uh, and this nut tree has eight zero two five star so these are the list of all the plugins that are available here and you can also find plugins based on category whatever you need so just we can see if we go to this nut tree plugin we can see here that if you want to use for vim plug you have to use plug syntax and then screw loose and nut tree. So if you go to, if you search for screw loose nut tree, you will see that it gives us a link for the GitHub repo. And if you see the name of the user is screw loose and the name of the repository is nut tree. So the syntax that we follow for a plugin is we have to write plug before the name of the plugin and the name of the plugin contains two parts. The first one is the user of the GitHub and then the GitHub repository. So we will use this uh, setting inside our 
vimrc file so we'll just go to the vimplug website and from there we can copy this like call plug begin we'll just copy this one and we'll go to our vimrc file this was the previous vimrc file that we have seen our in our video and we'll just use this we'll remove this one so this one will contain the first part of our vim plugin manager and the second one will be end so anything inside this will be the name of the vim plugin that we need to install in our vim so we'll just go to uh, the vim awesome website and we'll copy this screw loose plug screw loose nut tree so we'll just use it and we can we can write it here so just by writing it here we say that this is the plugin that is being used by the vim now so pl plug begin and plug end and it, in between these we'll list all the plugins that we need to use so once we have written the plugin name inside our plug begin and plug end we need to install it so vim plugger vim plug provides us some us some command and these commands are plug install which help us to install plugin plug plug upgrade which help us to upgrade our plugin and plug clean which help us to remove our plugin so we'll just see it that we have successfully written the name of the plugin that we want to use and we'll just quit this file by writing shift colon write means save my changes and quit means exit the file now to install the plugin that we have written inside our vimrc file we have we need to open the vim by writing the vim command in our terminal and pressing enter now to install a plugin we we have to write shift colon and then plug and if you press tab multiple time you can see the different command that vim plug provides like plug clean plug diff plug install plug snapshot plug status but we are interested in installing the new plugin that we have listed in our vimrc file so we will use the plug install command we'll hit enter so vim plug will see the vim plugin uh, vimrc file and see if new plugins are there so it will try to clone the repository from the github and will put inside our dot vim folder which is present in our home directory so it says finishing and done which means the plugin has been successfully installed and if you want to see the plugin we'll quit this file and quit vim and then if we see our home directory then we can find a hidden folder dot vim so we'll go inside dot vim and inside dot vim you can see a plug folder has been created and if you go inside this plug folder you can see nut trees installed there so this is just i'm showing uh, i'm showing you where actually vim plug stores all this plugin so i'll go to my home folder and this time i'll try to upgrade my plugin so i'll type vim and then enter and if i use the vim plug command i'll use vim update so it will just update it will see that it is already updated so it will not download any new thing but it will check from the github server that any updates have come or not now i want to remove some the plugin which i have installed so i'll just go to my vim rc file and inside vim rc file i will delete this plugin so now there is no plugin inside my plug begin and plug end and i'll quit my file and again i'll type vim and then enter and this time i will use vim clean so it says me delete all directories related to nut tree or, or it says directories to delete so it finds that inside my dot vim folder and inside my plug folder nut tree is there but it has not been written inside my vimrc file so it will ask me do i do i need to delete it so i'll say yes and it will delete the file this time if i'll go inside my dot vim folder and then inside my plug folder i can see nut tree has gone so in this way we can easily manage our plugin so we can use multiple plugins like suppose i am using screw loose nut tree then syntastic blink vim airline uh, and 
this is for color schemes then I'm using super tab so these are all the plugins which I generally use so I'll just write the name of the plugin which I can find easily from Wim awesome website according to my need uh, and those plugins are differentiated there based on different category so I'll just write the name of those plugins and after going inside my Wim, I'll just use plug install uh, sorry it should be plug update uh, here so I'll just use plug install and after using it this plug install Vim plug will automatically download all the plugin so this in this way we use Vim plugin manager to maintain our plugin inside the Vim so we can easily update we can easily install and we can easily delete the plugins so this was all about plugin manager and in the next videos we'll see how to use plugins or which are the best plugin that we will use in the next videos so hope you like my channel please subscribe to it and please give a thumbs up if you like my video happy coding